CIA doesn't support any further investigation into your wife's murder. Gotta the battlefield. They had no right to take so much from me. Okay, no I want to tell you up top, and I think this will give you some insight into how my brain works, but I was so excited that this movie kind of is a lemon reunion for you and Brett Gelman. <laughs> yes! I was like, oh my lemon. god! So you're, so you're a Janixa Bravo fan. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Yes, right. <laughs> incredible. Isn't she so incredible? I'm like, whatever you're doing, please just call me. I can't wait to work with her again. I'm like, when, girl? I, I, I stalk her. And I, I can't wait too. to see Zola. That I trailer Zola. blew my mind. Oh my god! I mean, honestly, I I saw it already. I saw it like before Sundance, so, so I haven't <laughs> yeah. seen the I haven't seen the final final. So I want to see that. I want to see it again, so I can see it when it's like done. Yeah, and when everybody in the world's talking about it, because they're going to be. How could we not? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but very fun to see you and Brett in this together. You know, very very different type of movie than Lemon for sure. <laughs> I was just so sad I didn't have any scenes with him. I know. I was, know, thought, I I was thought like, maybe. damn. Yeah, I was like, damn, I'm going to get any scenes with him. But I hung out with him a lot. We hung out a lot, even though I didn't have any scenes with him. Oh, that's great. I was trying to get a sense of when I talked to Stefano, if he's a big, like, comedy fan. But I don't know if he knew who Brett was outside of his, like, dramatic work. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't know if Stefano's watching, uh, watching any of those kinds of uh, comedy things. <laughs> I mean, casting in general, I think that obviously this movie is pulling from the Tom Clancy novel and in that novel, but I know that there's a character named Admiral James Greer and here we have you playing Karen Greer. And when you went in for this part, when you read for this part, was it gender blind? Did you know that they would be kind of swapping genders for this? I did. I had heard that and I thought that was really cool and interesting. Um, I also had not read the book, so um, I wasn't necessarily thinking okay I'm gonna start from that character and build backwards you know it was something that was more like I'd heard that that's what they're trying to do and I was like oh this is an opportunity to just create something new mm -hmm. um and just let her be her own person and a person who is as grounded in reality as as I can possibly try to make her right she does feel fully real even though it's it's my understanding that we don't you know, unfortunately, we don't see women in the commander position in the military right now. So we're like bending reality to some degree, but in, in a really amazing way, I feel like. Yeah, no, definitely. And I think, you know, globally, you know, the armed forces are much more male centered. But I mm -hmm. think there's culturally becoming a shift where we're seeing that, you know, they're opening up in each branch to more equality. And so I think, and I think soon we'll, we will see a woman who's an Navy SEAL. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel yeah. like it's coming. What do you want audiences to kind of take away and understand about Karen after they've seen this and who she is? You know, I want them to see her as a fiercely loyal, intelligent, tough, woman who doesn't apologize for her existence in any space and who still understands vulnerability and you know really cares for her friend John Kelly. Yeah I, I really love watching their friendship grow over this and I gotta say I mean Michael B. Jordan obviously people's sexiest man alive but also he's just he seems so wonderful and <laughs> People Magazine sexiest person man alive I should say the magazine said that not the people in general who voted but I tend to agree <laughs> I think I think the people say that too I think people <laughs> magazine and people think he's the sexiest man alive yeah you're that's true that's true we, we all agree it definitely is unanimous but I wonder what what does he like to work with both as a scene partner but just as a collaborator yeah I mean I think that Michael is definitely someone who is an incredibly ambitious and driven mm -hmm. creative, you know, and that is admirable. Um, he is wearing a lot of hats. Mm -hmm. And I love what Outlier company is doing with diversity and inclusion and the inclusion riders and just trying to make a change, not just on the screen, but behind the scenes. 
-hmm. you know, I think that's really awesome. I'm curious to kind of separate from that, but I, I heard that there was sort of this mandate with this film that with the action scenes and everything, you know, we're trying to put the actors into it as much as possible. There's not a lot of special effects. There's not necessarily stunt performers all the time. What was that like for you? Was that, was that grueling in some respects with, with these big action scenes? Well, as a pregnant person, that was very intense, you know? Um, that was definitely asking a lot from me, <laughs> but I delivered. Yeah, oh my gosh, you definitely did. And I was gonna say, I was curious about the timeline <laughs> for things because I knew that we started filming in 2019. I knew that in some sense, COVID had yeah. delayed everything and you became a mom last year, which is amazing. That was my second trimester that I shot for, basically the entirety of my second trimester. So I started before I was showing. And by the end, they were opening my costumes in the back and, <laughs> you know, I had a full on baby bump going. I mean, the belly was, and you know, it was, it was definitely something that was just so challenging mm -hmm. in the most insane way. I, I had no idea that my body was capable of that much. That's incredible. And it's, it's fun. It's amazing to hear that. It's not like on the classic sitcoms where that actor is pregnant and they're all, all of a sudden carrying laundry baskets in front of them all the time or something like that. <laughs> we found new ways right, to I'll tell you, it. that hat, that hat, okay? That hat was a belly cover many a time. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, that hat tucked under my arm. I was like, and when I'm in uniform, that was masking the belly. <laughs> they better hope he doesn't survive. Why's that? He is more dangerous and effective than any man we have in the field. 